we're going to go through all the harnessing for the tractor cab and the applicable plugs in this short video. We're going to start at the monitor with the connections on the monitor harness. So on the monitor harness we have the plug that goes into the back of the monitor here. It's a single key plug and it'll only fit in one way. We also have the Cantu terminator, straight plug here, and we also have a spare USB port here for having the ability to plug in both the antenna for extend and also the USB for transporting information in and off the monitor in conjunction with the USB port on the monitor. Following the harness from the monitor down the monitor harness, we come to a T. At this T, we'll have a plug for GPS, this plug right here, where we can tie in our third party GPS signals. This plug right here is used for getting power into the monitor harness. There's two ways to come with the monitor for that. We've got the harness that's plugged in here. That harness goes all the way back to the battery. We follow that back. And that's going to be our battery connections. You can see that there's a fuse in there as well at the battery connections. There's also a place to wire in keyed power. This needs to be tied in. So the monitor only turns things on when it has the power on. And you'll find that tail here on the harness. The other option for power is this harness here that comes with the monitor. That harness allows you to be able to plug in to that same gray connector here and be able to plug into the power bar in the tractor cab. The other connections we have at this T are these five plugs here they are not used for anything with the system the way we have it hooked up. This is a generic harness from Topcon. These plugs will be labeled remote mapping, remote engage, CAN2 ASC 10 VDC, VDC power, and system power auxiliary. Next on the monitor harness, we follow down. This lead here, let's take us through that loop, brings us back to these connections here. So we have three connections coming off our monitor harness that are going to tie into our tractor harness. The first connection is ISO loop B. It will be labeled ISO loop B on both the monitor and the tractor harness. The next plug we have is the switched power. This one right here, it'll be labeled switch power on both, once again, the monitor harness and the tractor harness. When we get to the ISO loop A plug on the monitor harness, there's two different options for this. You can tie in the switch box, which is the way we have it labeled here. Tie in the switch box, ISO loop A from the monitor harness goes into the ISO bus extension harness, that's this one here. That ISO bus extension harness then tees off and it ties into the ISO bus A plug on the tractor harness. The switch box harness that we have here, the ISO bus extension ties into the switch box lead here, which ties into our switch box in the cab. The switch box harness gets its power from this lead coming off the ISO bus harness, labeled system power, goes into this little extension harness, plugs into our tractor harness, the switch power out plug. We also have at this point our front terminator. It's a Powell terminator and it's located at the front of the CAN network. Now that we're in the tractor harness, we'll follow it down the tractor harness Y is off. One of the Ys is going to go to the back of the tractor. 
That plug at the back of the tractor, it's an ISO bus connection. It's attached to our tractor ISO harness. They call it the ISO light, and it will tie into the implement harness. Also with that Y is where we get power for the tractor harness. We can follow that all the way back until we get to the plugs of the battery. So the plugs of the battery, there's going to be two fuses here and here, and there's also two relays, one here, one there. And we'll get into those in the uh, troubleshooting section. We're going to follow that back to the back of the tractor, tie it into the implement harness, the ISO connection here, and it goes back, and then there's a Y at the front of the implement harness. That allows us to be able to tie in the high current power from the tractor that we're installing. That's this plug here, and it goes all the way back to the batteries. plugs directly to the batteries. You'll also notice that we have a 100 amp fuse located here. That gives us fuse protection and we also have a 130 amp relay here. This relay is used to trigger power to power the ECUs. It's only powered when the monitor is on. 